Friends, here our concept is test command. See, test is a command and it is used to judge or validate conditions. First, let me give the syntax of test command. That is simply test condition or instead of test, you can take single or double square braces. And here, compared to test or single square brace, double square braces are the enhanced version to validate your condition, to judge your condition. And this syntax works with bash, casual, judge shell. Suppose if you want to validate your condition in T shell or SH shell or C shell, then go with the test condition or with a single square brace. Fine. Now, here we are validating our condition with the test command or with a single or double square braces. Then what is this condition or how to create that condition to validate with your test command? See, condition is like, just assume that you are having two numbers. I want to compare those two numbers like whether they are equal or not or first number is greater than the second number or first number is less than the second number. That is a condition. And here, to create your condition to work with your test command, we have different types of operators. They are like comparison operators and file test operators. Let me go with one by one. Comparison operators. Again, here also we have two sets of operators. First set is for numbers and second set is for strings. So these are the numbers comparison operators and these are the strings comparison operators. Let me explain about this. See here I have given a syntax by including test command. See that square braces, two square braces, double square braces is there. That means there is a test command. After running this command with this operator, observe here hyphen eq. That means if these two numbers are equal, then this entire command will give the written status as 0. 0 means true. In case if they are not equal, this entire command will give exit status or written status of your command as 1. 1 means false. Your test is false or your test is true. Let me explain this on your terminal. Before going to work with your test command, suppose I have a ls command and I want to uh, list, list the directories and files which are there in this directory. And after that, let me run echo dollar question mark. You are getting 0. This is the exit status of your ls command or return status of your ls command. You are getting 0. 0 means your command was run successfully. That's why you are able to see the output here. Now let me run some invalid command. After that, let me run echo dollar question mark and see the result. You are getting some non-zero value. That means your command, whatever the command you executed, that was failed. That's it. The same concept is applicable with your test command as well. Let me test it for two numbers, whether they are equal or not. 4 equals to 4, that is the condition. This condition we are creating, we are making by using hyphen eq operator. So this will check whether they are equal or not. That condition we are testing with test command. If they are really equal, this test command will success. If they are not equal, your test command will fail. But how we can validate that? So after running test command, immediately run echo dollar question mark and see the result. You are getting 0. 0 means your test was success. What, what is your test? 4 equals to 4. That was success. Now let me check in this way. 4 equals to 43? No. Now see the result of echo dollar question mark? Non zero 1. So that is giving non zero means your test was failed. Why it is failed? Because they are not equal. But we are trying for equality. That's it. Now instead of test, you can take simply either single or double square braces. Now see the result of echo dollar question mark? Non zero because they are not equal. You can also take two square braces. And we will take this one because this is the enhanced version. That's it. Now, if you are having numbers directly, we are substituting here. But suppose assume that we have our numbers in variables. Let's say x equals 6 and y equals to 2. Now, I want to compare. Is x greater than y? I mean, the x value is greater than y value. Then you have to test in this way. Start with two square braces. Then dollar $x hyphen $gt greater than $y. After running your test command on your condition, see the echo dollar question mark value. 0 means yes, your test was success. What is your test? You are checking 
x greater than y yes that's true that's why you're getting zero now in reverse way after validating your test command for your condition based on this value we are saying that whether this test is success or not this test is success if you get this question mark value as zero and this test failed if you get this double question mark value as non-zero or one so zero means true false means one or one means false that's it and if you observe here we have different types of operators and if you observe in the last one i have taken here exclamatory symbol so what will happen whenever if you take exclamatory symbol for your condition it will reverse the result suppose as of now if i compare x greater than y you are getting result status as zero but if i take exclamatory symbol before your condition make sure that there should be some space before your uh, condition with your exclamatory symbol and here also you should have some space curly braces sorry square braces and your exclamatory then here also space here also space now see the result you are getting non-zero value so exclamatory symbol will make your result a reverse that's fine same way you can compare strings also let's say my name i am taking empty string i want to validate that whether that is empty or not through logic then simply take hyphen z your variable value your variable value is nothing but dollar your variable if really your string whatever it is there in your variable if it is having zero length or if there are no characters for your string then this will give return status as zero yes zero means your string is empty zero length string now let me take in this way shell scripting i am taking as my string now see the result i am comparing i am validating that is is my string is having zero length no that's why you're going to get return status as non-zero that's it now these are comparison operators for your numbers and strings now we have come file test operators to work with your test command on your files they are like these are the operators suppose i want to validate whether the given file or path is directory or not then you can take hyphen d option here let me validate that suppose i have a here bash shell scripting nodes as a directory but logically i want to test it whether it is directory or not then simply take hyphen d provide the name of your directory name then test it so how can you test after running your test with condition see the value of dollar question mark if it is zero then you can say that this is a directory now let me do one thing instead of directory i am validating is that a file no that's why you are going to get return status as one that means there is not a file that's it so likewise on your files or paths we have uh, different types of operators uh, not only this we have some more operators i will share uh, you can download that from this video okay thank you